But we begin tonight in Florida, where a federal judge dealt another major blow to Governor Ron DeSantis and his push to ban those mask mandates in schools. The judge siding with Florida parents who called the governor's order an overreach. But tonight, DeSantis vowing to continue his fight. News Nation's Evan Donovan from our Tampa station WFLA breaks down today's decision and what's next. Today's ruling answered a very narrow question. Who gets to decide whether students should wear masks in schools while this case moves through appeals? For the second time in two weeks, the judge found in favor of the families and against Governor Ron DeSantis. In the initial trial, Judge John Cooper found the governor and the Department of Education had acted unlawfully, overstepping their authority by banning mask mandates in schools. The state immediately appealed, which by law triggered an automatic pause on his ruling. The families then filed a motion to reinstate his order. That hearing was today, and both sides made similar arguments to ones they made during the trial. The family's attorney said the state will suffer no irreparable harm if school districts are able to require masks, whereas students could get COVID if everyone is not wearing them. The defense argued that case precedent and the law favored their side. In the end, Judge Cooper found in favor of the families, giving every Florida school district the right to make its own mask policy without fear of penalties from the state. Governor Ron DeSantis' team says they will appeal this immediately to the appellate court, which means we could have a different ruling as early as the end of next week. Back to you, Nicole.